and I'm talking about plastic stack of chairs. Who's got one of these things at home? Yeah? Dangerous. Very dangerous. What you don't know about them is these splits, when you sit on them, these splits open up. Because it's happening underneath your bum and you don't notice. But they can be a bit dodgy. I've written a poem about it. Uh, the poem is called Entrapment. <laughs> the alternate title to the poem is the terrifying but tragically true tale of Trevor's trap testicle. <laughs> Trevor's on a mission to consumer affairs, trying to get a total ban on plastic stacker chairs. He reckons that they're dangerous, a serious threat to life, because it was through a plastic chair that he got into strife. It was at the Tamworth Festival, a concert in the park. Ken and Trev were there with gear to last them until dark. An esky full of coldies, Trevor was without a care, in stubbies, thongs and t-shirt, on his plastic stack of chair. But as he stretched his legs out, his left crown jewel rolled free and dropped straight through the chair seat, a real catastrophe. But Trevor remained unaware of his dire situation until they gave the singer a big standing ovation. As Trevor came up to his feet, he gave a fearsome yell because tethered to his testicle, the chair came up as well. He grabbed the chair with both hands as they crashed back to the ground. But the errant family jewel was firmly stuck, he quickly found. Well, he tried to extract the enclosed clot, but he began to curse. Because nothing he did seemed to work. It only made things worse. Well, Trev's mate Ken was laughing, fit to go right off his brain. Ken's tears were from laughter, but Trevor's were from pain. <laughs> Ken produced a Stanley knife. <laughs> Trevor's mouth went dry. <laughs> Ken said, I only cut the chair, but Trevor wouldn't let him try. <laughs> well, Ken climbed underneath the chair and tried to poke things through. <laughs> it's times like this you find out what your mates will really do. <laughs> well, they pulled and pushed and prodded, but all efforts were in vain. Trevor's nut was red and raw and given heaps of pain. All this unwanted attention was no good, you realise, because Trevor's tortured testicle swelled up to twice its size. Well, the word spread quickly through the park about the situation. People tried to get a glimpse of Trevor's threatened castration. Mums and dads and kids and dogs of every shape and age Trev got more attention than the singer on the stage. <laughs> Little kids were pointing. Dogs were trying to have a smell. <laughs> Trevor trying to cover up said, go to bloody hell. <laughs> Poor bloke needs an ice pack, was the only good advice. So they sat Trev over his esky with his ag in the ice. Well, someone called an ambulance and they drove through the crowd. Trev was drinking Bundy rum and swearing very loud. Well, when they both stopped laughing, they carted Trev away to the hospital where he became the highlight of the day. But Trevor's now recovered with both crown jewels in place. Don't offer him a plastic chair if you value your face. But next year at the festival, Trevor will be there wearing tight undies, long trousers, on his canvas fold-out chair. Thank you very much. Give him another clap, Bill.